All right. Here the Ducks still doing push-ups. But, no, it was a good day uh, out there today. Got to see us um, execute at a high level. You know, that's the expectation for us. We talked about it's a standard. That's how we'll measure ourselves is based on the standard, not necessarily on the scoreboard. Um, certainly some things that we can clean up um, and things that we can improve on. But overall, was, uh, you know, glad to see Otson bouncing today. Had great energy from the crowd. Got a lot of players, some experience that's going to be uh, definitely needed throughout the season. Coach, only a couple penalties today. How do you feel operationally you guys look today? Yeah, I'll have to go back and look at a, a few things. But, you know, ultimately we talked about not having any pre-snap, any post-snap penalties in this game. You know, I thought there was one that was really, you know, poor on our part. Um, some aggressive penalties might happen in between the whistles. Um, but ultimately I thought the operational piece was pretty smooth. In general, Dan, how do you feel like your team got better today when there's a lot of questions about the future of FCS games, you're joining a conference where you can't play as many of these? What? How did you feel like your team got better by, by playing this game today? We're going to play another team that we can get to go out there and tackle, break blocks, um, you know, or make blocks uh, and get off blocks. You know, I think you, anytime you get a chance to play football against somebody else, it gives you an opportunity to improve. And again, we talked about we weren't really measuring our standard based on the scoreboard. We're, we're measuring it based on our standard, right? And I think at times you saw a team that met that standard. I think that we're going to go back and look at the film and see some things that we could definitely do better. So uh, any day that you get to play football is a good day for us. Quarterbacks finished 33 of 38, no interceptions. Just your first assessments on the signal callers and how they handled things today. Yeah, when you operate with efficiency and you take care of the ball, I think obviously good things can happen, right? We did a good job taking care of the ball today. I thought we called plays that allowed us to uh, get completions, right? And, and a lot of times you can let the wideouts and the tight ends and the backs do things with the ball after they get it. So when we're operating at a high level from that standpoint, you're going to see success on offense. Is that all right? Uh, Bryce Betcher um, gets the start today um, what, and, and comes up with that fumble recovery there too. What did, what did he do during fall camp to, to kind of earn that this playing time today? And um, what did you make of his game? Yeah, I'll have to go back and watch the film to see exactly how he performed in the game. But um, Bryce has been really productive through our fall scrimmages, through our practices. Um, he's a guy that loves Oregon. It means a little bit to him stepping on that field. I think you see that um, in the way that he plays, right? So he's earned that right. He's earned that opportunity, but he knows he has to battle for it every day. Defense allowed that long touchdown drive, drive early in the first quarter, but after that, pitched a shutout. What did you see from them bouncing back from that and, you know, their their game as a whole? Yeah, we had two critical errors in that drive and then a really bad um, execution in the red area um, on that last touchdown. You know, but ultimately, I think what you saw is when you don't do your job, bad things can happen. We had a couple guys not do their job early in that series. It led to a long drive, and I think we all settled down after that and realized, hey, all I got to do is my part, my 111th, and the rest will take care of itself. You started at center with Jackson. Curious on what you thought there, but then just the offensive line as a whole because a lot of new new players and new spots. Yeah, I'll have to go back and watch the film. I mean, obviously, we were able to run the ball well today. Uh, I'm more concerned about how we were finishing on every play. Were we chasing the ball? What's the finish look like? Um, were we getting movement the way we need to get it up front? But overall, I thought you saw a lot of guys out there go out and play at a, at a high level. Zach, uh, still my question about uh, just the defense and how they started, but I know uh, the offense has been kind of challenged by the defense during fall camp, so uh, when they came out today, uh, is that the offense that you feel like you've seen in those scrimmages, um, and how has your uh, defense really sharpened your offense uh, to come out and have a performance like they did today? Yeah, they both play off of each other, right? You, you know, iron sharpens iron in practice. I think we've certainly had some good back and forth in fall camp. Um, but I think everybody in that locker room right now knows that they're not satisfied with the result and there's some places that we can be better. I expect us to operate with that sort of efficiency throughout the year, but I'm, I also know that we're going to play some teams that are going to make it difficult for us to operate that way in the future. So we got to work to keep challenging ourselves and making sure that our standard is the uh, secret to our success. Marion Winston was another player that some of us outside the program were maybe surprised to, to see him start. Just would you see him through fall camp to, to have him warrant that start and just your early impressions? Yeah, playmaker that's smart and understands his role and takes his job really serious, does the extra work. You know, he's done a lot this offseason. I don't think anybody in our program was surprised to see him out on the field for us because of the way that he works every single day in practice. We saw Noah Whittington warm up, but he did not get in the game. Is there a reason he was held out? Yeah, no, I'm not going to talk about anybody that didn't play today. Um, but Noah's done everything right for us. He's uh, done a good job. We're just going to be smart with our players. When you have an opponent 
and next week, who's I believe playing here in about 15, 20 minutes, what are the plans, not just for yourself, but the team? Are you hoping that everybody just sticks around here and watches your opponent for next week? Right? Uh, I, I want our team to get off their feet. Um, we're going to be able to decimate and, and break through that information for them so they can be able to get it. I certainly want to be able to sit down and watch this game um, and, and get an idea of what we're about to face. I know it's a really good team. I know they have a quarterback that when he starts, they win. Right, and I know they're really good at home. So uh, it's going to be a really tough challenge going there um, to Lubbock in a, in a good environment. Um, I know they're coming off a road game when they come back, so I'm, I'm excited to sit down and be able to evaluate it. We'll start breaking them down as soon as we can. Look like close to two dozen players making their college debuts today, true freshmen. I know you're going to tell me you have to watch the film to assess, but just what did you see through fall where that was a possibility for you to play so many of them? Well, what I did see today and what I did see in the fall is a, is a group that wants to compete. And they understood that if they step on the field, they're viewed no different than a starter, right? There's a, a standard of excellence that we expect. And I think a lot of guys try to perform to that level. And the only way you're going to get better at football is playing, right? So some of those guys get out there getting that early experience. Those are going to be guys we're relying on later on in the season. Some of those guys will be re relying on every single uh, game. So it's good for them to get um, you know, some early opportunities out there on the field, and we'll see what they do with it going forward. Uh, Gary Bryant had 100 yards in, in his debut. Tez Johnson did a good job returning punts, had a couple catches. What, what do you make of those two guys? Uh, again, I'm, you got to watch the film, but just from what you saw today. Yeah, I think they caught the ball well. You know, ultimately, part of what makes it work for the quarterback is when guys have the ball thrown their way, they, they catch it, right? And we had some guys that caught the ball well, and when they got the ball in their hands, they were able to create some yards after catch. You know, I don't think you'll go out there and say any of those – uh, throws or routes that we were asking these guys to run today were remarkably tough. It was about doing simple things better. Those guys did simple better today. You know, a punt returner with Tez, he fielded the ball. You know, that's kind of our expectation. He had one that was a little bit close there um, that probably could have thought twice about fielding, um, but I'm glad that he was able to get some additional yards. Back row in the middle. Coach, it seemed like uh, first half was a little tough for the uh, nose guards, or excuse me, the nose tackles up front for the running game on PSU's side. It was like over 100 yards in the first half. Did you see anything that was a concern, or was that just kind of defense taking a while to get into it a little bit today? You're talking about our defense? Yeah, yeah, sorry, your defense. Yeah, I mean, I mean, ultimately, there was one series that they had success moving the ball down the field, um, you know, with relative success. And again, it was two guys not doing their job. It wasn't necessarily the nose uh, tackle or the uh, defensive tackle. Um, but there's some guys that didn't do their job at the highest level, and it cost us. Ty Thompson looked pretty good and when he came in for Bo. Was that just a sign of what he's looked like all fall camp and just his growth from, from last season? I think that's a sign of what Ty's capable of, right? Ty performed exactly how we expect him to perform today, right? Did a really good job. Like I said, I think he first started his first drive off three for three, was really efficient, and had made some tough runs, played with some toughness, um, a quarterback that you love to see. Uh, and I think he proved to everyone that he can operate in this offense really well. I know you said you don't judge yourself by the scoreboard, but 81 points is a modern era scoring record. Do you take pride in that at all? I mean, not really. I'm not. It, I'm not concerned. We won the game. I'm glad we won the game. I'm not really, you know, in for stats, right? I'm in for Ws, right, and wins. And you know, wins for us come based on performance. I want to go back and evaluate the film and see where we could perform better, right? That's what we really want to evaluate. It's not about. We're not interested in winning. Uh, who had the best scoring offense last year? Scoring defense. We're interested in winning games. That's our. That's our objective. We haven't even asked you about Bo yet. This was his first game in a. New offense, not exactly a surprise that he has command of it, but I mean, 23 of 27. <laughs> how do you feel he performed? Did he feel like there, even any of the incompletions were remotely in jeopardy? Just how do you feel like he commanded things with, with Will's offense? Yeah, ultimately, I thought he did a good job taking care of the ball. You know, I don't think we connected maybe on some of our deeper shots uh, today like we have in the past. So I think we got to get in a rhythm there. Um, but overall, Bo ran the offense well. You know, got to a third down there early in the game where it could have kind of been a back and forth and was able to convert on a, on a third. Um, but yeah, I think that there's some some moments there, but that Bo did everything we expect him to do. You know, well, our challenge is what's going to look like when we play a team that matches up well with us, and I think we're going to see some of those coming forward. Obviously, you haven't seen the the kicks charted or anything, but 
Camden had several touchbacks. Uh, I believe it was one punt, a good one. How do you feel generally about the, the performance of the special teams today? Yeah, I thought our first kick wasn't great, and we had a couple field location issues on some of our kickoffs. Uh, Cam did a really good job in field goal. Uh, I want to see us continue to prove, uh, you know, improve in the areas of, of our locations and where we get the ball uh, kicked, you know, moving forward. The one punt that we had, I thought Ross had a great kick. I think we had to get better coverage on that unit on that. You know, we had bullets that did a good job getting down the field, but I want to see the rest of the punt unit get down the field better. Kind of a bit of a retooled secondary, a lot of new faces out there. And I'm just curious on kind of how you saw them gel and maybe combinations. You don't have to get into specifics, but did you see stuff that you really liked in terms of how they, they fit together? Yeah, and I don't know if they really got tested today, right? Um, you know, they did a good job communicating. I thought you saw a good communication um, from those guys, but I don't know that they ever had an opportunity where they really got tested. So I think, you know, that's still set to come, right? We're, we're not interested in reading the press clippings of this game. It's about the future, and we have – some good players out there, but we have to be able to execute at a high level moving forward. And, and again, we're going to play some really good teams moving forward. I think 260 in yards after catch for your receivers. Just your thoughts on their explosiveness, their playmaking ability, and what they can bring this season for you guys? Yeah, I think that's something that's really important. It's something we've kind of been stressing since our first scrimmage that we want to be, you know, an area of strength. Uh, and I thought you saw some of that today. So that'll be something we have to continue to work on. I know you said last season was last season and it doesn't matter now, but uh, after your first game of last season, I imagine you feel pretty different than how, how you feel now going into this season. Just now with the, uh, your full signing class in 2023, everyone's under you, second year of the Dan Lanning era, just how much do you feel like you've grown as a head coach um, going into year two under the program? You know, the verdict's still out. we got a lot of games to play, right? When There's still a lot of time and certainly a lot of room for me to continue to get better and our program to get a lot better. So we'll, we'll wait to vote on that until the season's over with. Last question, James. Dan, you guys are in a really unique position when it comes to next week and that you're playing a former starter. All right, it wasn't under this staff, but you guys have a lot of proprietary information beyond just game film, things like RPMs and all the stuff that you can measure from practice. RPMs. RPMs of passing you know from the various different metrics from shuck from those i don't know what rpm what you mean how fast the, how fast the ball releases i don't know we measure that at practice well nate costa used to they used i got to you things that did. i'll have to call him file somewhere <laughs> someone's got it i haven't looked at how fast he throws the ball but he's he, you know what i know this he's a winner i'll let you ask the rest of your question or if there is a question that's the point that how much does any of those things help? But if you don't even know they exist, clearly not a lot just yet. Yeah, I mean, here's what I know. He's a good quarterback. Um, they play really well when he's in the game. I think he has complete control. He has the ability to make checks uh, at the line of scrimmage. Um, they're going to play a different brand of football where they actually get the ball out of the perimeter and they have some uh, talent at wide out that they can take advantage of, but they also will hop into 12 and 11 personnel. I think it'll be interesting to see what kind of team they look like this year. They've got a lot of their parts back. Um, I don't know what the RPMs are, but I know he plays quarterback well. So, all right, appreciate you guys. We got Steve Stevens out here ready to roll.